Olay! Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Gary here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the X Transbots. Toro! So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have a nice piece of artwork of a Toro. His name is Toro, but we know who it is. It's Cliff Jumper. On the top, we have x Transbots. On the bottom, we have a teaser pick of their Menasaur. That looks pretty good. On the side of the box, Toro. On the other side of the box, Toro. On the back of the box, you have a little schematic -y image there of Toro. And you have a very g one e tech spec card with his bio if you want to read it. Strike first, strike hard, no mercy! He's part of Cobra Kai, apparently. Okay, and also back down to the bottom of the box, we have a rare treat we have, Sun Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card with that same piece of artwork. And on the back, you have the bio again. Strike hard, strike, strike first, strike hard, no mercy, sir! And the text packs, if that interests you, hooray for cards. And moving right along, here we have a Toro, which is X-Transbot's take on Cliff Jumper. And he's a pretty neat figure. I do quite dig him. So here he is in his vehicle mode. As you can see, he's a little red car. And we're getting close here so we can take a look at the details. You got some orange and some white there for those front lights. You got a little front grill painted in black. Uh, you do have very dark transclearance windows and windshields going all the way around. Looks quite nice. Even the door handles, they painted in black. The side view mirrors, um, the one thing I would say be careful with is the side view mirrors because as you can see, these are very thin pieces. So when you're messing with the sky, definitely, definitely be careful with those. Uh, you can see some silver trim there on the wheels. The wheels are plastic. They're not rubber, they're plastic. And the back tail lights are all picked out in paint. You get some black back there for the bumper as well. There's the underside. It rolls as rolling things should. Rolls nice and smoothly. So there you go. And for comparison, here he is with Masterpiece Side Swipe. Just so you can see how he scales there. And here he is with Masterpiece Bumblebee. So you can see how he scales with the Bumblemeister. So, there you go. Now, Cliff Jumper here does come with a lot of accessories, and they all store on a sled of stuff. It's <laughs> basically what this is. <laughs> a sled with all of his accessories just stored on here. It's, I mean, it's nice. It's nice that everything stores here. It's just kind of funny that it is just a, a sled of weapons. <laughs> just a deadly sled of weapons. Hey, why not? Dare I say, why not? But we can remove this red section here. Just pop this off. It just pegs in. See, it's just four pegs, four ports. We can put this off to the side for now. And we can take the uh, sled itself and just take Toto and plop him down in there, and now he can water ski like he did in the cartoon. And we can also take uh, these bits right here, just remove these. Come here, come here, come, come here. Remove this, and we can remove this, the gun's in the way. Get out of my way, gun. Get out of my way. Get, give me, thank you, thank you. Okay, put that to the side. And you have these right here, little antenna. And little gun here. This is all invoking stuff that happened in the cartoon. I just don't remember exactly what everything is. You know, it's that one thing that happened in that one scene of that one episode of the cartoon. You know how masterpiece toys work. But you take these and you can see the specific shape this is in. And there's a little notch there in the hood. And you just take that. And that just pegs down like so. So you can have that going on. Or you can take this right here and plug that in. And you can have that look going on if you want to as well. Hey, it's a thing. It's a thing you can do if you want to do it. So there you have that. So that is basically it for the vehicle mode. All the other accessories are for robot mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's 
minutes. So first thing we want to do is come down here to this little tab here and we're just going to take that and just flip that down. Then we're going to take this whole front assembly here and just untab it. See this tabs in right there like so. Once we do that we want to split the front and now we can get started on the legs. So the legs will just unfold like that. And once you do that, and you take the hood section here, you just bring it up, little tab that just goes in right there. Once you do that, this section will just swing over to the side like so, which will allow you to bring the leg up. And you just take this panel here and flip that back, take the wheel, flip that in, and there you have a leg all done. Second fast, just like the fast. So you just extend the leg all the way, bring up the hood, bring it over to the side, flip up the foot, bring that back, bring the wheel in, and there you have the legs all done. So now for the upper body, you take the doors and you just bring them out to the sides. And once you do that, you take this whole assembly and flip this back. And look, there's another smaller car in here. <laughs> oh! For the people who hate the faux parts, oh, that's probably going to enrage you. But, you know, hey, it, it is what it is. It doesn't bother me, but I know some people are going to get mad about it, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> this just makes me laugh. But um, there you go. Once you've done that, just take this and bring this all the way down. As you can see, it's on multiple hinges here. So just bring this all the way down and get it out of the way for now. And now we're just going to take the arms and just bring them out to the side. And then you just take the arm and extend it down. Rotate it at the bicep. Flip the hand down. And then rotate the fist so everything's oriented properly. And you got that all done. Same thing on the other side. Bring the arm down. Extend. Ugh, that was a little tighter. Flip the hand out. Rotate. Rotate. And there you got the arms all done. So now we're going to come back here and we're going to uh, bring up his head and just turn it around. So he's looking right at us. Get his neck straight. His neck, <laughs> his neck is like a separate piece from his head and sometimes the neck, you don't want the neck to turn. I'll straighten his neck out later. I'll straighten his neck out later. I'll straighten you out, buddy. I'll straighten you out. Anyway. Now we're going to take the doors and the doors will just rotate in like so, bring them back out. You're gonna take the window and flip it in. This hinge is a little snug on mine. Bring that in like so, and then just fold that into the body. Swing that around, flip that in. Again, be careful with these side view mirrors. Just be careful with them, they're thin. Bring all that in like so. And we have that done. So now we will work on all of this back here. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the wheels and just fold them in like that. And then these sections, well actually before we flip these in, we need to take this back windshield here and pop this up like that. And now we can take these sections here and fold them in like so. Just make sure all that is nice and collapsed in like that. And then we just bring this up, bring the red section down, bring this back up. This roof section here will just fold down and this will slide in underneath this panel that his head is on. And you have these little tabs right here that are going to go into these notches right there. So just slide that in and just give that a push. And all that will just pop into place like that. Just straighten all that out on his back. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Woo! We're done. I'm trying to fix his neck. I'll fix his neck. I'll fix you. I'll fix you in a little bit. But there you have Toro, aka Cliff Jumper, in his robot mode. I need to straighten his neck out. There we go. I straightened his neck out. I told you. I told you I was straightening you out, buddy. I told you. Huh. Huh. Huh, anyway. But yeah, um, he's a good looking cliff jumper. 
not too shabby, not too shabby. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that head sculpt. It's a pretty nice looking head sculpt in my opinion. Got some nice metallic paint there for the eyes. Face done in gray. I love the plastic color they used for the uh, for the windshields and the windows here on the chest. I think it looks really nice. That just really pops when the light hits it. But overall, pretty nicely done. In my opinion, he does have a lot of backpack going on there, but hey, it is what it is. But yeah, not too shabby for a cliff jumper. Now articulation wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint, so you do get your wiggly waggly, wiggly waggly. It can do a full 360. He can look up, he can look down. I, I threw his neck out of whack again. Oops. His neck didn't give me this many problems before. It's only because the camera's on, but he can look up and down. Shoulders are on a ball joint, can do a full 360, can go in and out. He's got bicep rotation. 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. He does have wrist rotation. The hands can open and close. He has waist rotation. He does also have an ab crunch. A little bit of crunchage there. Legs can go forward. That far can go back. That far forward. He can do the full splits. He got thigh rotation. The knee joint is... It's on a soft ratchet, but it's really hard to move. But you, know, you can get it bent there. And you do also have that transformation hinge as well, which basically gives you a double jointed knee. So you get a pretty good range of movement there. But that joint is really stiff. There you go. And the feet can move up. They can move down a little bit. And you have a good amount of ankle tiltage there. So now let's continue to look at the now uh, slab of stuff here. So <laughs> it's just various weapons. Let's just peg right in. It's just a bunch of guns here, so we'll just remove them all. And they all have their spots, which is nice. Some of them are a little hard to get out. Some of them are really in there. Like this one. Really in there. There we go. And remove this one. Yeah, come on. Get on. Get on. There we go, remove that, and we will remove this, we got that going on, we have these, we'll talk about all this, we have this section here which pops off the back, and there you go, there's the slab, we'll put that off to the side, we don't need that no more. So the first thing we have here is this hand attachment, and that just slides right over his hand. And now uh, you got that going on, and that does hold in you know, pretty securely. I mean, it's not going to fall out or anything. So, you have that as an option. You do get quite a few guns here. You have this gun right here, which is done in gray and black. And they all attach via these little posts on the sides of the handle. There's little ports right there in the palm of his hand. And you just get it in there. That pegs in, and he does hold the guns very securely, so it can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. Hey, let's give him another gun here. Give him this gun. And he can hold, make sure his fingers wrap around it. There we go. So you have that gun as well. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. Or, if you want, you can give him this gun right here. It's also a pretty cool looking design. Done in the gray and black. Plug that in. Make sure he gets fingers around the handle there. There you go. Pew pew bang bang. Pew pew bang bang. So a lot of pew pewing and bang banging that cliff jumper can do here. So you have that. And of course he has the big cannon here. Which again is just done in gray with some bits of black on it. It does have the bipod on it. You can remove the bipod. If you want to, that is removable. And again, you can just take that and just peg that into his hand. Oops. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Why won't you get in there? There we go. Pegs that into his hand. And then the handle is also on a hinge, so you can angle this down if you need to. To kind of get it up over his shoulder or something. So you can hold... The big old cannon there, and he can bang, bang, boom, boom, bang, bang, boom, boom. So, hey, 
no shortage of weaponry here for Cliff Jumper. He's 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 pretty much set as far as weapons go. And the last thing you have is uh is is these. And again, I'm I'm sure this is from the cartoon, but I don't remember what this was, but hey, you get two of them. You can hold them individually, or you can take them, and uh, they will link together. Camera will focus. Oh, there we go. And they will link together like that. And you can have Cliff Jumper holding that if you want to. You know, there you go. Hey, it's a thing. It's a thing you can do if you want to do it. So. There you have all of the accessories. Get them all straightened out here. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with Masterpiece Sideswipe. Just so you can see. Now he scales there. And here he is with Masterpiece Bumblebee. So you can see how they look together. And they are pretty much identical height-wise. They look good together. I like it. I like it. So there you have a total. Um, a nicely done figure, in my opinion. I do quite dig him. He is pretty shell formery, which I know is going to bug some people. And of course, the faux parts I know is going to bug some people. But um, you know, it doesn't bother me. Like I'm fine with that. Um, quality wise, um, everything feels good and sturdy. The only thing I would say exercise some caution with is just those side view mirrors because they are thin pieces. That's the only thing I would say be careful with. Other than that, everything feels really good and sturdy. The transformation is pretty smooth. Um, like I said, when I reviewed their, uh, their breakdown, it seems like X-Transbots has finally learned how to engineer a, a smooth fluid transformation. And yeah, this guy is actually pretty enjoyable to mess with. So all in all, um, well done figure, in my opinion, anyway. So there you go. So if you would like this or any of X-Transbot's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the X Transbots Total, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, home in your face! <laughs> Beauty little Autobot, you think you can take me? <laughs> you're not even worth my attention. What are you doing? Okay, you're climbing up me. This is quite awkward. Okay, you're here now. So do I have your attention now? Punk, you smell like asparagus.